Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Reading with Mrs. Dubs, and today I'm going to read to you a story called Love. And I love the story, don't get me wrong. It is a great way to talk about things that are happening in the world that might seem scary, and to find love in all the little places. So this story is by Matt De La Pena, and I read this to my class probably one of our second to last or last Zoom meetings we had together. And when I read it, I just fell in love with it all over again. So let's take a listen. In the beginning, there is light and two wide eyed figures standing near the foot of your bed and their sound of their, their voices is love. A cab driver plays love softly on his radio while you bounce in the back with the bumps of the city and everything smells new and it smells like life. Love too is the smell of crashing waves and a train whistling behind and blindly in the distance. And each night the sky above your trailer turns the color of love. In a crowded concrete park, you toddle toward summer sprinklers while older kids skip rope and run up the slide, and soon you're running among them, and the echo of your laughter is love. On the night the fire alarm, uh, fire alarm blares, you're pulled from sleep and whisked into the street, where a quiet old lady is pointing to the sky. Stars shine long after they flamed out, she tells you, and the shine they shine with is love. But it's not only stars that flame out, you discover. It's summers too, and friendships and people. One day you find your family nervously huddled around the television, but when you ask what happened, they answer with silence and shift between you and the screen. In your dream that night, you are searching for a love that seems lost. You open and close drawers, lift cushions, empty old toy bins, but there's nothing. You wake with a start in the arms of a loved one who bends to your ear and whispers, it's okay, it's okay, it's love. And in time you learn to recognize a love overlooked, a love that wakes at dawn and rides to work on the bus, a slice of burnt toast that tastes like love. And it's love in each deep crease of your grandfather's face as he lowers himself onto an overturned bucket to fish. And it's love in the rustling leaves of gnarled trees lined behind flower fields. And it's love in the made-up stories your uncles tell in the backyard between wild horseshoe throws. And the man in rags outside the subway station plays love notes that lift into the sky like tiny beacons of light. And the face staring back in the bathroom mirror. This too is love. Okay. 
and when the time comes for you to set off on your own, heavy winds will sweep past your building, and great gray clouds will congregate above. Your loved ones will stand there like puddles beneath their umbrellas, holding you tight and kissing you and wishing you luck. And it won't be luck you'll leave with because you'll have love. You'll have love, love, love. The end. I hope you enjoyed this awesome story. I also encourage you, if you get this book, to make sure you pay close detail to the different people featured in this book. Um, what clothes are they wearing? Why are they wearing those clothes? Why are they dressing differently? Why are they riding in a cab to the store? Why not drive in a car? So all those different things are great ways to talk about other people with your children. I hope you enjoyed this book. Please comment, like, share, subscribe to this channel, and I hope you enjoy. Thanks.